Here I want to find the length of LF if I know that LD is 3.5. Well the key to this is that we know that the triangle has one or more of its medians being shown, which means this has to be a median. Well the definition of a median goes from the midpoint to the vertice. Okay, so that means that these two lengths have to be equal. So FL, or excuse me, LF must be equal to LD, so LF must equal 3.5. So we know that one or more of the medians are being represented, which we, means we know that this is a median and this is a median. So we're trying to find QV, so we're trying to find this length here, if we know that this length and, um, I'm sorry, and we have expressions for this length and this length. Well, since this is a median, that means this is the midpoint, which means these two lengths are equal. So we know that QV is equal to QW. So let's just put these expressions in here, and that'll help us find X. And then after we find X, we can find the length. Okay, so let's subtract 4X from both sides, giving me 3X minus 1 equals 5. Add 1 to both sides, giving me 3x equals 6, and then divide both sides by 3, giving me x is equal to 2. Well, we said that qv was equal to 7x minus 1. Well, now I know what x is, so I just put the 2 in there. So that gives me 14 minus 1, or 13. So qv is equal to 13. Here I have a triangle with two of its medians represented, which means that I know that this point here, where the two medians intersect, is the centroid. Okay. So I'm trying to find the value of x when I know that dt, which is this segment here, and dv, which is this, uh, the length of this median here, are represented by these two expressions. So the way I'm going to start this is I know that dt plus tv equals the length of the entire median dv. So right now I have far too many um, variables here. I have t dt, dv. I know something for those, but I don't know anything for tv. However, because this is a centroid, I know that the length of this segment from the vertex to the centroid is twice the length of the this segment here from the centroid to the median, or I'm sorry, to the midpoint. So I know that dt is equal to twice tv. Okay, well, if I wanted to write this in terms of dt, because I want to substitute an expression for dt in for tv, I know that one half of dt is equal to tv. So what I can do is I can say dt plus one half of dt is equal to dv. So now I have dt and dvs only, and I have expressions for those, so I can go ahead and plug those in. So I know that dt is x minus 4 plus one half of x minus 4 equals x plus 2 over 2. Now since I have an equation with fractions in it, I want to get rid of those fractions, and I'm going to do that by multiplying both sides by the least common denominator of the fractions. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, since they're the same frac uh, since they have the same denominator, I just need to multiply by 2. Okay, and I'm going to distribute this 2, so it'll be 2 times x minus 4, then distribute it to this. 2 times 1 half is just 1, so this is plus x minus 4. Okay, and I'm going to leave it in parentheses for now. And then times this, the 2's cancel out, so it's just x plus 2. The whole reason for doing that was we knew it would cancel out with these 2's uh, in the denominator. Okay, so let's distribute this 2. So I get 2x minus 8 plus x minus 4 equals x plus 2. Okay, so 3x minus 12 equals x plus 2. Okay, let's subtract x from both sides, giving me 2x minus 12 equals 2. 
Now let's add 12 to both sides, so I get 2x is equal to 14. And if I divide both sides by 2, I will get x is equal to 7.